What's up, YouTube? This is Courtney again, Truman Steamer's Carpet Cleaning. I um, want to do a tip of the day. I thought this was very important uh, to let you guys know. Um, I came to this job that I'm at now this morning. It was a uh, $350 job, Talon Grout, uh, two rooms of carpet. No, three rooms of carpet and Talon Grout. And um, <clears throat> I'm already uh, just got through doing my third job. And uh, basically, the customer called me back like an hour and a half ago. He said, Courtney, the uh, towel and grout in the kitchen, it just doesn't look good. It has a uh, just a funny look to it. So I came back over here. I just inspected what was going on. And basically, just some residue that was left behind. Sometimes it can be normal depending on which pre-spray you use. Um, so all I have to do is just rinse it out, guys. So I'm about to get the machine going. But the reason why I'm doing this video is that basically, guys, this customer is basically in my area. He's about two miles from my house. Um, today, I had four jobs. And just to show you guys what I'm talking about, today I had four jobs. And uh, as you can see, my first customer, which is the one I'm at now, was Lawrenceville. My next two was in Snailville. And my last one's in Lawrenceville. So, guys, what you need to do... Because when you're um, an owner operator, or just any business period, especially a service industry, in the service industry, you're going to have problems, you know, where you might have to go back to a customer's house. You might have to redo some work. You might have to, you know, redo some pet odors or just what I'm doing, uh, do, you know, proper rinsing um, to take care of the situation, especially if you care about satisfying your customers. You need to learn how to basically dominate your area. I see so many cleaners in the industry that are driving 50. 60 70 miles to a job and just imagine guys if i was let's say 50 miles away and i had this same job and this guy would have called me back well guess what i would have had to go all the way back out there to redo something that's probably not even take me 15 20 minutes which basically i would have been basically losing money losing profit time just so much so guys learn how to dominate your area I, I technically tell guys if you're a one two man crew you should stay within the 20 25 mile radius because that way guys not only can you basically don't have to rush jobs again if you have problems it's easy to go back to a job that's within a you know low mile radius than driving 50 60 miles for something that's only going to take you 10 or 15 minutes so dominate your area learn how to stay you know in your area guys and because when you're going to have problems you're going to have to go back to you know redos and again company like me i guarantee all my work if a customer is not satisfied with something i always go back and i always try to go back that same day or the next day you know this guy wrote me a 350 dollars check guys i don't want this guy have to wait you know more days on top if he's not satisfied i need to get out there right away and again i I still got one more job left after this, but I was still able to get back over here in a matter of time to take care of the situation before it got worse. So again, guys, it's just a tip of the day. Learn how to, you know, if you're going to have problems, you're going to have redos, you know, and if you really care about your customers, you know, try to keep your stay in your service area wherever you live most of uh, most of us are home-based business try to dominate your area all right guys again this is courtney truman steamers i'm about to go ahead and get started not just uh take care of this situation and uh make my customer happy and uh, i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching